What's going on YouTube? Skidmark FD here and what we're going to go over today is removing the upper intake manifold, the throttle body, and everything that it required to get out of the way in order to get to the stock FD coil packs to remove them and in preparation for getting the Saki Bomb Garage standalone coil pack system and setting up for direct fire opposed to wasted spark system. So. If you want to follow along, watch. I'll do the best that I can to record and show you what I'm doing as I'm working on a phone, so I can only do so much. But, so, here we go. All right, guys, so the first thing that I do in order to get everything ready to go is I, I have a front mount intercooler. So, what I do is I remove the side, the cold side of the intercooler that comes in and goes to the intake elbow and the throttle body. I remove that. Then from there, I'll come over to where the throttle body is, take the throttle cable, I'll loosen it up. This is already a little bit loose because of what I've been doing, because I, this is the second time I've done this, so I never really got to put it back all the way. Loosen this up, remove it from the bracket. And I'll come over here, and you'll actually pull the cable. It's kind of hard to show and do with one hand. You'll pull the cable out from where it actually latches into the throttle body. So it's got this little T-bar that connects in way up underneath here. So the little T fits in here, and then the braided line comes up through here. So I'll take that, go ahead and remove it, move it over there, take over here, and unplug the throttle position sensor. So that'll come unplugged. Just set it down around the uh, oil filter. And then come back around to the other side. Start undoing all your vacuum lines. So for me, I have a wastegate, the line that goes to my boost pressure sensor and fuel pressure regulator. Pull that off. Go ahead and pull it off the other side of the Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. Just go ahead and put it up and over to the side. And here, this is where it connects into the brake booster. So this is your brake booster vacuum line. Go ahead, pop that off. Then you'll go ahead and here is where you have your upper intake manifold grounding point. That's stock on the FD. So just go ahead, unclip that. I just unclip it from the chassis. It's a little bit easier than undoing the bolt that's back here. And then you'll go and undo each one of these 12 millimeter bolts. Well, these two are nuts. These four, actually, are nuts, and then this is a bolt. So we'll undo that, and we'll pick up from there in a second. All right, so we're back now that I got all these four nuts off and the one bolt. All we have to do is grab about right here, lift up. Bring it up over to right about here in the reach underneath. You'll see you have an air intake sim sensor about right here. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this plug from the air intake sensor. And just go ahead and lift it up and your upper intake manifold is free. Go ahead and set this one over here next to my old one that I managed to break. And we'll come back over here. And so now you have your upper intake manifold gasket. There's the air sensor plug. And there is your stock FD coil packs. So, on your stock engine, it would bolt into right here and right here. Now, this one's not bolted in very well because it is literally just set here to test the motor, make sure everything was good after we tested and ensured that compression was good. So, we just use this as a quick run through to test and see if the engine actually started. So, you would undo these bolts. Once the bolts are undone, this whole assembly is free. So once I undo the bolts, then I'll come through, I'll unplug all the spark wires. There will be four. So you'll have your two trailings, one on either side, and then your leadings, which will both come off of one single coil pack in the middle. Now, <laughs> I have made mistakes on this before. I have mixed up where I did trailing, trailing, and then leading, and the engine will run. It'll run off 
off rhythm a little bit, but it will run. So when doing this, always ensure that you have this plugged in properly and it's set up the right way. Now the last thing in order to get it off is right about here, around somewhere around your power steering, mine, because things are a little shoddy on mine, it's kind of up high, but you have the plug that actually goes from the igniter into the coil packs. So just come in here, unplug it. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand, so set the camera down real quick. Come in here, unplug it, pull the wire through, and boom. You now have your stock coil pack system move from your FD RX7. Now, the other things that I'm gonna do to go ahead and prep for this, being that we're gonna be changing all spark wires to a whole different set because the Saki Bomb coil system actually sits over here where the cruise control module and the old igniter box would have been. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the spark wires and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock igniter box. So, pulling the spark plug wires is as simple as just pop them off, set them to the side. So, actually I can go ahead and remind you guys that there's two spark plugs per rotor housing, one trailing, and one leading. Easiest way to remember it is trailing is top, leading is lower. Again, this is something that took me forever to learn. Even though it's simple, it took a while, and I'm just now remembering it, but that's the easiest way to remember it. Trailing top, leading lower. So, now that we go out, we got all our spark wires. Go ahead, actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab my extras. We're just gonna go ahead and set these over here with our other ones. Now, in order to remove the stock igniter box, it's gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts, but I've already gotten this one loose, and the other one should be loose as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew these. Bolts are a lot longer than I expected, or remember, I should say. All right. Now, the box is loose, and we've got this one plug down here. I don't remember the type of plug. It's something like a... starts with an S. I don't remember what it is, but there's a clip on the front. So we're just going to push in and then pull the box off. Yep. Gonna have to set the camera down again because this is not a one time thing. <sighs> All right, there we go. We got it unplugged. There's a the stock igniter, and there you go. That's pretty much the full removal of a stock FDRX7 ignition system. You got your igniter, your coil packs, and your spark wire. Alright guys, well that was my short video on how to remove the stock FD RX-7 coil packs and get ready for the Saki Bomb Garage system that will be installed soon. Again, as always, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and if you feel like following along for the rest of this journey, please do. I promise you it's going to be interesting and it's going to be different. Just a normal guy on a normal budget trying to build his dream car and make his dreams come true. Thank you guys, as always, have fun.